it's gonna be alright. Oh, cool. That's on there. <laughs> Let me get that off there. Guys, how's everyone doing today? I am doing well, thank you for asking. And yeah, uh, this morning I hooked my GoPro Hero 9 up and uh, using it as the webcam just to try it, just to see how it works, see if it does okay. Uh, you can let me know. Uh, let me shut the door. guys as the description says uh, just kind of a little wake-up call to everybody on my Facebook friends list which is getting shorter and shorter every day <clears throat> but that's good news the more people you weed out uh, the better your life will probably be so and it's not uh, that I had anything against the people. It's just we weren't connected on anything. You know, if you follow me on Facebook, then you know what my issue is with Facebook. So. So anyway. As it says, you know, we're going to look up some good news. Maybe look at the weather and, uh. Other things to share. You never know, guys. <clears throat> so first of all, why don't we go ahead and look at uh, some weather, okay? Let's go ahead and look at some weather, guys. Bring this over here. Do that like that. Yada, yada, yada. And for those of you wondering, I'm right here. Good old Paris, a Tennessee. So let's look at the future. What does the future hold for Paris, Tennessee? Oh my God, we're going to die. Well, as of right now, it looks not bad out there but as you can tell and of course I'm right here uh, the weather is calling for rain from what I've seen earlier but 
who knows? They they call for rain all the time, and it don't rain. So it'll it'll say rain for like the next week, every day. Thunderstorms, thunderstorms, severe, blah blah blah. And you might get like a sprinkle once in a, once a day, or or not at all, or it might rain hard one day and not the next. And so <clears throat> you know how that works, guys. Now where do some of you other ones live? I got another Facebook friend that lives somewhere in this area I think oh Robert so I assume your area is not gonna fare well may get some rain your way a little bit of rain your way guys No viewers. Well, we need to get some viewers in here, guys. We need some viewers. I mean, I can't just do all this hard work and not have any views. I mean, I'm practically doing a weatherman's job. You know, standing back, looking at a map and guessing. I'm doing that, you know. So anyway, let's look at this right here. Now, of course, this is out of Jackson, Tennessee, which is just a little bit uh, south of us. Matter of fact, it's right here, Jackson. So Jackson, Tennessee, right here, and we're right here. So I usually will look at Jackson weather, or I'll look at uh, Paducah weather Paducah's right here Kentucky we're right here so they're both pretty much the same distance from us it's just you know one's a little north and one's a little south so you know we're kind of right in the middle there anyway well that's gonna be the weather we got Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Quit all that. Quit all that, would you? I'm done with the old coffee. The old French vanilla coffee. That's all I drink. French vanilla coffee. Start your day right. I could be the best morning wake up news channel on TV or internet. You know that, right? Now I know this is Jackson, which again is an hour away, but that's what I'm looking at. But hour by hour, it's what they're looking at here. It's sunny, 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 sunny. Mostly cloudy. I mean, So probably by this evening. Probably by this evening. And a lot of times that's how it works here uh, in Tennessee. And I think probably the south in general because uh, we're so humid. And uh, things kind of Pardon me. <laughs> so hot and humid here that I think sometimes it takes the whole day to get things going. And by the time the night comes in, it kind of starts uh, cooling down and doing some other stuff and still all the humidity and all this stuff. And I think that's what, uh, I think that's why we get a lot of storms in the evenings here. I could be wrong, but probably something like that. See, I couldn't be on TV or anything because my nose is always going crazy. Uh, somebody cut the camera off, Thorn. Uh, he's sticking toilet paper up his nose. Anyway, 
Local news. Let's look at some local news, guys. I don't care about news and stuff typically, but I thought this might be interesting to share, you know? And I don't care about any of it so far. Now, I don't know about you guys, but um, schools are fixing to start again here in West Tennessee. I think our first day is the second of August. Oh, it's ticking down. You know, I, I don't, I don't have issues really with school starting back. It's the fact that every day or every other day they're asking if you can do something extra. Hey, can you do this route? Hey, can you do this? Can you, you know, this route and this route and this route? Because so and so ain't here and they're not there. And they're... That's what gets annoying about my job because typically I let them know that I don't want to do any extra routes. I don't want to because, number one, I don't want to be around more kids than I have to be for that long a period of time. And it takes a lot longer. So my route goes from taking about, you know, an hour of me, you know, being away from home. I leave from my route right now at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, go to the school. The kids get on the bus about 2.30. And then we take off about 2.35, 2.40. And then I'm back home by like 3.10, 3.15. Um, I like that. And uh, yes, you can make more money doing the extra routes in that. But that's another issue that I have. Is that we shouldn't have to do extra routes like that to make more money. We should be getting paid bottom dollar drivers like myself... Uh, who only have like a short route get a uh, short route you know we make X amount of money and then long long route drivers and long plus drivers and special needs drivers all make a little bit more not much more but uh, you should start out bottom tier drivers at twenty thousand dollars a year for all the stuff that we got to go through and deal with every year and every day with kids and parents and, and different things and uh, the classes that we got to do uh, a couple times a year, CPR certification, fingerprints ever so often, uh, and even the process of renewing your CDL driver's license is a pain in the buns. So... Um, Really, we should be getting paid bottom dollar, 20000 a year. So, I kind of have a problem with doing extra routes for a couple of reasons. So, that's just my opinion on it. Wick Center restarts Farmers Market Nutrition Program in Madison County. Good, good. I don't really like looking at, at news. It's all just a bunch of garbage. I don't watch TV. I don't want, I mean, literally, we don't even have like normal TV. We just have streaming services. And uh, I don't watch. I mean, like, I might watch a movie once in a while or something, but I just don't watch TV. I don't care about it anymore. Uh, my interest have, has switched over to the internet years ago. And uh, if I do see any news, it's like this, like on the side of Facebook or in the news section of Facebook, you know, you might check in there once in a while and then just scroll through and you'll just see like these little headlines like this. And that's about the as much news as I get. Uh, I stay away from politics and religion and I try to stay away from all this, uh, all these controversial and crazy news things that's happening all the time and um, just something that I do now I, I don't care to be a part of it it's not a healthy lifestyle <laughs> so let's go uh, let's go here <clears throat> and this is where I go periodically to just get good news. As you can tell, the name of the net of the site is Good News Network. 
Now, sometimes I come in here and I'll get little good news bits and stuff and just uh, kind of start my day or end my day on a good note, you know? So good news. You all USA world inspiring animals heroes. I don't care much about the animal stuff. I'm an I love animals, but I'm not an animal guy. Not dogs and cats. I'm not one of the people that have to have a animal. Inspiring. Inspiring. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go USA. First African American to win National Spelling Bee takes trophy after just two years of practice. Well, that's all great and fine and dandy, but I'm, I'll tell you a secret right now. I could practice from now until the day I die, and I wouldn't win a spelling bee. I am the world's worst speller, and I always have been. And I misspell the exact same words, the exact same time, every time. <laughs> I mean every single time. Some words, they just look like they need to be spelt a certain way. And so that's how you spell them. It doesn't matter how it's done in the dictionary. <laughs> it just, they sound like they need two F's or two P's or two this or two, you know, or something like that. Or a, a vowel. Uh, you can, like, all the vowels sound right whenever you say a word. A-E-I-O-U, sometimes Y, you know. So, spelling is not my subject. Artwork painted by Picasso discovered in a closet in Maine after a half century. Well, I'll tell you what. Since I enjoy art, let's take a look at this one. Now, we won't read through the whole thing. We'll just kind of go through here a little bit. While it sounds like the height of absurdity to say one could never imagine how often it happens that paintings by art's great masters are found in people's attics, in recent years, GNN has reported on possible da Vinci being found tucked away in a Scottish farmhouse. There was the case of a blah 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 being discovered by a recent Massachusetts day depicting Spanish yada yada yada. State. It was found tucked away with other paintings in the closet of a house belonging to New England men. Hmm. The 16 by 16 image on paper is believed to be the preliminary mock up for the curtain that would act as the backdrop to Le Porquet which debuted at the El Bedre Theater in London after World War I. It's kind of interesting. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting stuff there. Huge supply of water saved from evaporation when solar panels are built over canals. Here's my thing. Our world is made up of what? 80% water? Now, a lot of it's undrinkable. But at the same time, with all of our technology, can't we just turn all the undrinkable water into drinkable water? Without having to worry about water supplies and all that stuff? Now, I know it's just a simple, stupid way of looking at it. But... It just seems like that would be the answer. But I'm no scientist. I don't know anything of any great importance. It just seems like, you know, we could do that. World's longest wildlife bridge could cross the Mississippi so buffalo can roam. Those darn buffalo always want to roam. The Wildlife Bridge. Now, I heard about that, I believe. It's to try and keep the animals off of, like, the highways or something, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I mean, it's kind of interesting, but how many animals are truly using that 
is it really worth the extra cost you know not only to build it in the first place but to maintain it so that's a uh, mm, scrappy scrappy 81 year old woman completes her second tough mudder race over huge obstacles really that's what I like to hear about there let's click on that one so an 81 year old widow just finished her second tough mudder race what's your excuse well I know a lot of people say that whenever there's like older people that do stuff or maybe people with some disabilities and that but some people can't do things some people have bad backs or you know stuff like that where they can't even move and do things hips pelvic knees you know everything I'm one of those people that can't do a lot of stuff anymore so Mildred Wilson from Sykeston, Missouri crossed the finish line of a Tough Mudder 5K obstacle course, muddy and elated earlier in March. 5K is about three miles or something, isn't it? Something like that. Despite being an Octavia, this was Wilson's second complete Tough Mudder. Octogenarian or whatever? I assume that that's probably saying she's old. <clears throat> so I guess she watched her son or grandson uh, yeah uh, do one of the tough mutters in Vegas and uh, I guess he asked her if she would like to do one she said yeah and there you go so that's pretty cool I don't even know if I could do that to be honest you know it just proves it just because you get a little older that don't mean you gotta stop doing things so that's good to see I like seeing people especially older people you know I'm gonna include like 40 year olds like 40 and up I like to see people getting active doing something you know to challenge themselves I think everyone needs that every day and by challenging yourself, I don't mean just getting up out of bed and going to work. I mean doing something like that. Working out, walking, jogging, playing sports, doing things that really take you out of the, you know, out of your comfort zone and put you into another place. So let's look at Mr. Trash Wheel. Gobbles up 15 tons of trash every day from harbors and more cities are adopting. I seen something about this on a video or something online like a day or two ago. It was a smaller, a smaller craft that had like a bag that it was pulling through the water. Um, I guess the bag was probably had holes or whatever, you know, pinholes or something to allow the water to come out, but it kept the trash in or something like that. And it did the same thing. That's horrible. Uh, our country, I'm just going to speak for our country. I don't know about the world. But our country has a horrible, horrible uh, littering garbage uh, problem. Uh, just in my small county here, especially whenever I'm riding around on my bike, it gives me time to see stuff. People are just absolute lazy poop they really are they don't even care so mr. trash real mr. trash wheel rotates based on power drawn from the river's current And it also uses some solar. So that's pretty cool. It's horrible. I'll tell you that. It's a horrible problem, guys.
Please excuse me. I, like I said, I have a... <laughs> My nose is constant going. <laughs> so, and the page didn't fully load. That's okay. I'll be all right. Now this is all good news, but some of these things actually can lead to more heated negativity type stuff. You know, Native American tribe in Maine gets back Sacred Island taken 160 years ago. Now, just like with the other stories that I've kind of went over, this and two you can look at and see the positivity in it, but you can also look at it and see the negatives and the problems uh, that America causes, you know, in people's lives. Um, now, I'm not exactly sure how they lost their land, but I assume it was from the white man coming over and taking the land. And uh, everybody wants to be so patriotic and uh, salute the United States and stand up for it and so proud of it and all this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the way that we became America is not exactly the grandest, most amazing uh, thing that's ever happened in uh, history. You know, when you come over here and you take someone's land, not that it's not that the land actually belongs to someone. I mean, it really don't. Especially back then, there was no real like laws and different kinds of things like that, probably. But you know, you come over and you take someone's land from them, kill you know hundreds and thousands and probably millions of tribal people and all that that were living here, and you probably. Uh, there's a, I'm sure there was a lot of rape and a lot of, you know, slavery uh, from, uh, you know, the white men uh, to the Native Americans. And I'm sure there was a, I'm sure there was a horrible uh, time that, you know, to look back at. And, you know, I look at stuff like that and that's one reason why I'm not... <clears throat> all patriotic and, you know, flying flags and, you know, kind of one of those kind of people. I just, I look at it as, you know, <laughs> and you can see one of the comments here, justice has been served, and then another person replied to them, I'm not sure why they had to pay for a treaty land that was stolen from them. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, although although we can look at the good news part of it, um, the way that they lost the land was not a very good way. It was not good. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, let's look at page number two, guys. See what we get. Well, you get a page that's not going to load. That's what you get. Do 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 do. Seven in ten Americans agree that 2020 made them a better person. Here's how. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Well, that kind of barking right at my alley right there. Atheists respond to National Day of Prayer this week with action to feed the hungry and clean up litter. Push that. Oh, okay. Just goes to there. Well, see, that's interesting to me because I'm atheist slash agnostic. 
you know. So that's pretty cool to see a story, a positive story about, you know, putting atheists out there, which are just people who don't believe in religion, who don't believe in, you know, gods and all that stuff that doesn't make them the devil. They can't be the devil if they don't believe in your gods, so... You know, we don't have to go into extreme detail here. We know what they're doing. <clears throat> These local atheists also run a chapter of street warriors to provide hot meals to people experiencing homelessness and a backpack program that supplies weekend groceries for elementary students. Cool. That is pretty cool stuff. I like seeing that. And of course you got this person here. Like I said, you always you always get some negativity with positivity. This person replies doing good deeds never cancels out bad deeds. Something to remember. You know, why even make that comment? Who said there was bad deeds to try and overcome? Is he just saying that because they're atheists? I don't know. Proof that you don't need religion to be a good human. Actions speak louder than prayers. Exactly. Exactly. Prayers do nothing except for put the work on someone else. Whoever it is that you're praying to. Just puts the work on them. Stuck at home on Earth Day, here's how to connect, yada, yada, yada. I connect with Earth all the time whenever I go out and do my bike rides and my walks. <laughs> I connect enough, guys. My red nose proves that. Shake it off, shake it off, uh uh, shake it off, shake it off. Ch -ch -ch. Uh. That song gets stuck in your head. Look at Harrison Ford. I love that man. And yep, we're going to get an Indiana Jones 5. If he'll quit getting hurt. Everybody's freaking out about him getting hurt, but he's been hurting like every movie that he's ever made. So, it's not a big deal. Nothing restores a river or a local economy like removing a dam. Uh, I would not celebrate George Floyd. I'm not going to go into all that because that's negativity. Uh, but a thug, uh, you know, you can go and do your research on that. <laughs> I'm not, uh, not going to ruin my day by all that mess. Let's look at this one. <clears throat> the city created the largest free food forest in the country where anyone can pick fruits and veggies. That's cool. Again, we don't have to go deep into the story. We kind of know what's going on just from the uh, title there. There's a seven acre farm in Atlanta where residents can walk into a forest Take a deep breath and begin pulling crops right off the land for dinner. Man, that'd be great. What I would like even more than that is if I had the knowledge and the ambition to do my own garden here in my own yard. I have a nice flat yard that would that stays moist, <laughs> that stays oversaturated. So I'd like to do a garden, but I just don't have it in me to do. I already do so much activity during the day with my exercising and stuff that I wouldn't have the energy to do it anyway. That's cool. So we don't have to really go into the story too much. We see what it is. Good news. <clears throat> you know, 
renewable energy, solar, wind, all that kind of stuff, it's never going to catch on probably because too many people make too much money off fossil fuels. I wouldn't want to live in Mississippi, I don't think. We'll go one more page and see what we can find. That's good news, but the health of the coral reefs and the real world are not great. Sanctuary containing healthiest coral reefs in the world just tripled in size thanks to the U.S. government protection. Mm. The Gulf of Mexico's largest coral sanctuary just got 200% bigger. You know, if, if humans were wiped out right now, they would triple in size probably in a week, along with trees and all the crazy weather that we're having, probably all go away within a year. So we don't really have to look too much, increasing the sanctuary size from 56 square miles to 160. Yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> That's good news. I know a lot of coral reefs are, are being destroyed daily, though. Good news, an epic bike trail. I've read, I've seen this one before. Good news on epic bike trails stretching coast to coast across the USA has cycling popularity as so cycling popularity soars during pandemic. Well, every town, city, county, everything we need bike lanes, bike trails, shoulders for the road, whatever down every road in this country, no matter what it costs. And uh, I remember seeing this story a couple of years ago. Uh, of course, if you know me, you know that I cycle. And for the most part, I feel safe out there. But the one road that I have to go on every single day, which is attached to my community, it's the only way I can get out of here, is the most unsafe road that I ride. And I have to be on it to go for a ride. So that would be so that's 3,700 miles across America from coast to coast. That would be so get that would be so crazy to do. Longest bike ride I ever did was 100 miles. And I did that back in early 2017. That's a little bit farther, but that would be an interesting thing to do, you know, like uh, bike packing or uh, touring. Same thing. It's just different bikes and different terrain. But uh, that would be pretty interesting to do with somebody. I wouldn't want to do it alone. But uh, 3,700 miles. That would take you. That'd take you a minute. Whew. You'd have to, because I know after I did that hundred miles, the next day I didn't go for a ride, and probably the next couple of days I didn't go for a ride. I could have, but I thought, man, I, I just need to rest, because <laughs> that was that was a rough ride. Because the way that we went, it was big hill after big hill after big hill after and and. And we went 
just in a straight line out and back. So we had to do those same hills two times. So just a minute. <coughs> Holy crap. I about missed my pants. Once the trail project, which is led by yada, 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 is completed, it will serve a huge number of Americans as 50 million live within 80 kilometers of the trail. Well, there's the trail. I don't live super close. It's two states away. And even at then, if I just go, if I go to Illinois, then I'm, you know, I'm hundreds of miles already in. Looks like, you know, good distance already into the trail. You could start over in, I guess that's North Carolina or South Carolina or somewhere. It's whatever. It's over there. And you could get over there and... Here's my thing though, my opinion, I think the best way to do that if you're having to go up to the, you know, if you're having to travel to the trail would be take a flight and get to one end of the trail, say all the way up there in Washington or Oregon or whatever, the, sorry, I don't know all my states, <laughs> but all the way up north there, the far corner, take a plane up there and then do your bike ride. To whatever state or whatever that you're at or all the way to the end and then catch a ride or something or rent a car or something and drive back home so uh, it would be interesting to it would be interesting to do but it would take a while to do that kind of mileage and not kill yourself you would have to stop you know I would say 50, 60 miles every day because I sure wouldn't want to go 100 miles every day or 100 plus miles every day or so that would take quite a while to do I mean you had to have some time to do something like that but that would be interesting to do well There you go, guys. We went over a few little good news stories here. And uh, I think that's that's a good way to start our Fridays. A little bit of good news. It is now 9.03 here in West Tennessee. And, uh, yeah, I still need to get a bike ride in. I got to walk, got to work out, all that crap, all that good stuff. It's very taxing on the body, guys. I do this like six, seven days a week. It is not easy to put yourself through that. But in order to turn back all the mess that I put my body through, getting fat over the years and overeating and eating junk food, and you know, you got to do something. Uh, it takes it takes an extreme extreme actions to turn back the old clock there so anyway let's get out of here and what y'all notice here guys is my old mental pickle I redesigned that now that's for my gaming channel uh, it's where I game uh, live stream video games only old mental pickle uh, I'm gonna be getting uh, a t-shirt made and see how it turns out um, I'm always the guinea pig for my shirts so I'm gonna get a, a shirt made with that and um, I'm gonna get a, few, a handful of stickers as well and uh, see how that goes and then my Mikey Sun TV I just did that yesterday it's kind of a cool looking little image um, I don't know if I'm gonna 
you know, because my Mikey Sun TV doesn't really have a mascot, and I can't think of what to do, so really Mikey Sun TV is all about me, Mikey Sun. So I'm thinking of doing like a uh, kind of a line drawing. They have a, a, a filters that you can use that kind of look like sketches and stuff like that, and I think that that would look probably better on a shirt. But I'm thinking of going something close like that, just cutting me out though, uh, cutting me out and not having any of that background. And uh, kind of having that on a shirt with Mikey Sun TV and then uh, YouTube, you know, a YouTube, you know, kind of on there. It's what I'm doing on the Old Mental Pickle. On the back of it, it's going to have like YouTube, uh, Old Mental Pickle, and then a little picture of the Mental Pickle beneath it. Just to kind of, you know, advertise my YouTube channel. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get something figured out. And I'm not amazing with fonts and stuff and Photoshop as you'll see the M is close here the V is close here but it kind of kind of pops up like so I can't get it exactly how I want it so I need to figure out how to do my fonts a little bit better but I think having a, a crazy image like that on a shirt with Mikey Sun TV uh, and then you know, kind of throwing the YouTube off in there on 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 there. I think that'll look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you know, get up, get out, get ready to do it to it. All that good stuff. That's what that channel's about. Enjoying life and doing things that you enjoy, and uh, getting some exercise and art projects and reading books and cooking and movie discussions or whatever whatever it is you want to do, guys. Darts, pool, bowling. Needlepoint, putting a puzzle together, coloring, painting, all that good stuff. Anything you can do, video games, anything that gives you joy and excitement in life uh, is what that channel's about. So, yeah. Well, anyway, let's see what else we can get into, guys. Let's see what else we can get into. Do 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 do. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. Shakey shake, shake and bake. Wee wee. Well, I was looking to see if I had anything to kind of talk about and you probably can't see it or anything but uh, my son got me a it was part of a the display box uh, he brought like the top area of it uh, it's just a flat piece of cardboard really uh, for the new uh, He-Man Master of the Universe whatever revelation uh, animated show that's coming on Netflix he brought me the piece to the stand up thing I got it back there as a backdrop and then I got two of the new figures up there I got He-Man and Skeletor and I already had a, a Skeletor from the 2K series but I'm not really big on collecting but we're gonna you know I'm gonna wait and see kinda what these figures all look like and stuff uh, I don't like the way Moss Man looks you know the original Moss Man actually had material you know he was made out of a you know they had material over him or sprayed and stuck on him whatever and he felt like moss you know and he smelled he smelled like moss this the new one is just all plastic so I'm not crazy about that uh, the, the new evil Lynn looks pretty cool she looks okay I'm not totally sold on the new animated show because I'm hearing a lot of backlash towards it how it's all woke and cancel cultured kinda feminist and all every other kinda word and description you can throw at it I'm gonna give it a shot. I did watch the new She-Ra whenever it debuted, and, and I think it was three or four seasons of that. And uh, yeah, it was very woke, but the writing in it was the actual writing, the storytelling in that was actually better than the original She-Ra. And sometimes that wins, you know. Sometimes that wins over uh, their agendas. So. I'm going to give the new series a, a chance and see what I think of it and go from there. But anyway, 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and stop this live stream. I've been going for almost an hour. And uh, hope you enjoyed the little news segments, little good news segments. I think we all need a little good news in our lives. And, uh, uh, yeah. So, as far as social media goes, guys, try and keep it. Try and keep it helpful. Try and keep it fun. Uh, show yourself. Show bits of yourself on your social media. Not just all the world's problems and news and politics, political stuff and religion stuff and uh, all these controversial newsy subjects and things that everybody likes to always get into and, you know, all the stuff. Let's try to make social media fun and exciting and about our lives and, you know, leave people something to look at, you know? Nobody cares about all these dumb memes that you're posting, all right? Nobody cares about any of the stuff that you're copying and pasting. Nobody cares about that. Show yourself. All right? Anyways, guys, we're going to end this little Friday live stream. Hope you enjoyed it. And it might be a thing that we do from now on. Who knows? All right? Don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment to both my YouTube channels. Old Mental Pickle. Old Mental is one word. Pickles is second and Mikey Sun TV, M I K I E S O N T V, all one word. All right. You see them up there. You see the pictures. All right. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Get me out there. Get my channels out there. I'm a decent fella who should have hundreds of thousands of subscribers by now and YouTube famous for all the videos and everything that I've put out. All right. We'll see y'all later. Have a fantastic Friday. See ya. Get up. Get out. Get rad. And do it. Do it.